The Prime Minister is being urged to fly to the United States as soon as possible for a face-to-face -face meeting with the President. The aim is to reaffirm our alliance with the US before any lasting damage is done. Here's Hugh Remington. After the tantrum, the remorse. You have a lot of respect for Australia. I love Australia as a country. The president might still hate the refugee deal he's inherited, but senior Republicans have been putting him straight on Australia's place on Washington's list of friends. Australia is a very essential ally. It's very, very important. They're one of our most important allies in the world. Our ambassador, Joe Hockey, was summoned to the White House today to meet the president's top two advisers to be assured of Donald Trump's, quote, deep admiration for the Australian people, though no mention of our Prime Minister. It all smacks, says one senior analyst, of a White House in disarray. I think what we're seeing is a lack of discipline uh, from an administration that's still finding its feet. As for the rapid leaking to the media of the President's private rant, the Prime Minister concedes... That's disappointing. Even Labor is on Malcolm Turnbull's side. I am, um, as an Australian, uh, a little offended by the treatment of Australia's Prime Minister. Since the World War II realisation that Britain could not protect us, every Australian Prime Minister has looked to America and joined wars in the name of our alliance. Donald Trump is now being reminded of that and of the US military assets safely placed on Australian soil. But our Prime Minister is now being urged to do more. I think Malcolm Turnbull should, uh, in fairly quick order, uh, get on a plane to uh, Washington, D.C. I think Donald Trump is someone who actually responds very well to personal contact. In the words of one analyst, given all we've been through together, our alliance should survive one lousy phone call. Hugh Rimminton, 10 Eyewitness News.